We are delighted to announce the release of Forge 10.6, which includes new signs, new graphics and many enhancements suggested by our customers. Forge is a powerful computational chemistry suite that enables you to decipher complex SAR, design new molecules and predict activity using cutting edge 3D QSAR models. A major new enhancement for this release is the addition of robust machine learning algorithms that build on the success of our novel field QSAR methodology. Here I have 377 aligned ligands of the Orexin 2 receptor. To build a model using the new machine learning methods, I open the process dialog and choose the model type that I want. I'm going to start with a regression model and I could pick the specific methodology to use, but I will choose automatic, which means Forge will build all the models and pick the one with the best Q squared. Forge prompts me to partition the dataset prior to running the calculation. The results of the model building calculation are presented in the QSAR model window, where we can see that Forge, after generating four different models, has selected the support vector machine model as the best for the dataset. The graph under the activity tab shows predicted versus observed activity for all database molecules using the selected model. Selecting points in the graph will select the corresponding molecules in the molecules table and make them visible in the 3D window. While the new PCA plot is useful to identify outliers and groupings in the 3D descriptor space. Also new in 10.6 is the ability to create classification models instead of regression models. To run a classification model on this dataset, I first need to convert the KI data into activity categories. As I enter data into the dialog, Forge automatically updates to tell me how many molecules fall within each category. Clicking on this link will show the distribution of the activity values. Also in this case, I could pick the specific methodology to use, but I will choose automatic. At the end of the calculation, we are presented with three confusion matrices for our model. These show prediction frequencies for the actual classes versus the classes predicted by the model. If all of the off-diagonal values are zero, then all of the model predictions are correct. Other useful statistics are also reported. Selecting a cell in the confusion matrix will select the corresponding molecules in the molecules table and make them visible in the 3D window. In Forge 10.6, we have improved our activity atlas models for small and medium sized datasets to enhance the information content and reduce the reliance on individual compounds. In parallel, we have improved the model display so that you can view molecules simultaneously, comparing log files and 3D displays to understand selectivity or compare model building methods. You told us that the size of your datasets has steadily increased over the years, and so we have improved Forge's handling of these projects. For this release, we have increased the integration between Forge and Blaze, our ligand-based virtual screening system. In particular, we have improved the information that is available in the Blaze results retrieval panel. In Forge 10.6, we present both the experimental detail and the refinements as in previous versions, in addition to the scoring curves and log file for any results page. As with Forge 10.5, you can choose a custom number of results to download directly into Forge to enable filtering, tagging or selecting the best compounds to progress. Lastly, Forge 10.6 has a new graphics engine that gives enhanced 3D objects. The new engine delivers strong performance, great pictures and new smooth transitions between storyboard scenes. Contact us today to evaluate Forge.